the only thing you take with you into the grave is your soul. Your soul is eternal and your soul needs the life of God. I want to tell you friends, this is how life can be so humbling to the point where you can have all the money, all the cars, you can have all the sex in the world, you can have all the drugs and alcohol, you can have all the pleasures of this world. But friends, one day you're going to die and when you die you're buried, the worst enemy, your worst enemy will stay back and inherit your money. Your worst enemy may stay back and get married to your wife. Your worst enemy may stay back and take your husband. And I tell you friends, that's how life can be so humbling. Why not come to Jesus? Come to Jesus. God is building a new world. God is building heaven for you. Heaven is a place prepared for those who believe in Jesus. Heaven is a place prepared for those who say to Jesus, I love you Jesus. Heaven is a place prepared for those who say to Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. Heaven is a place for those who have met Jesus, your Lord and Savior. If you come to Jesus today, the emptiness in your heart, the void in your heart, Jesus fills the void with his life. The void in your heart, Jesus fills the void with his, with his peace and his love. And you become contained because contentment with godliness is great gain. Jesus gives you the peace and the joy that you need to conquer and overcome this world. Jesus said the world is full of sorrow, the world is full of depression, but I will give you a peace. A peace that surpasses the human understanding. A peace that transcends the peace of this world. The peace of this world, men find their peace in money. Men find their peace in cars. Men find peace in sex and drugs. Men find peace in houses they can possess. But I want to tell you friends, the day you're going to die, you will leave all these things behind. You're not going to carry your houses and cars and money with you in the grave. You will never find a you are truck behind a horse. The day you die, you are in that house, going to your grave. The only thing that goes to the grave is your soul. And you will give an account, you are going to give an account of all that you ever did in this world to God. But God is telling you today, my friends, I don't want you to die and come into, ha- come into, this, into the spirit realm without my life. I don't want you to leave this world without Jesus. God is telling you today, when Jesus died for you, Jesus took your sins away. Jesus took your judgment away. Jesus took your condemnation away. And when Jesus rose from the grave, He gives you His life, the life of God, immortality, incorruption, comes into your heart and you receive eternal life. And I want to tell you to the friends, if you've never heard about Jesus, if you've never heard about Jesus, now is the day of salvation. If you want to know about this Jesus, we are here to answer your question by the grace of God. We'll give you accurate, accurate knowledge about life after death of what the Word of God says. If you have any question, if you want to know about Jesus, we want to pray for you and pray with you and you receive Jesus in your heart. We want to pray with you if you are that person and you say, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. I don't know where we go after death. I know someday I'm going to die. But what is life after death? I want to come to you, Jesus. If that is you, my friend, we are here to tell you today, we want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. And when we pray for you with an honest and sincere heart, you receive Jesus in your heart and you are saved. Hallelujah. God bless you, Jesus. We're going to be here for, for some time. And if you have any questions, we're going to answer the question. God bless you. We love you. We love you. And more importantly, God loves you. And Jesus wants to make you his child. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. How are you? Praise God. I'm fine. You have any questions? Hallelujah. Now is the day. You guys have any questions, brother? How are you?